Hello and welcome to the Rat Gut Review. I am Ed. I'm Erica. And this is a Four Roses single barrel versus off. Four Roses off. They're, they're fighting. We're going to have a fight. They're going to fight? Fight time. The whiskeys themselves are yeah. going to fight? Yeah. Fist fight. Fist fight. Whiskey time. Whiskey fist fight. <laughs> Let's get serious. What are we doing? Okay. So we have two Four Roses in front of us. Okay. Now they're both labeled as single barrel. Okay. Okay. But they are not the same thing. Well, no single barrel is really the same as any other single barrel, to be fair. Yeah. Barrels do all sorts of crazy stuff and make them different. But, but one of these is the standard Four Roses single barrel, right? This is okay. the one you can buy in stores anywhere in the world. Well, maybe not anywhere in the world. I don't think North Korea has any. Maybe Kim Jong Il's working on that. Thank you, great leader. But yeah, so this is your regular, regular old Four Roses single barrel. Okay. Then we've got a local store pick from where I work. Raise wine and liquor. Shameless plug for the people I work for. They have a YouTube channel. Go tell them I deserve a raise and a promotion. And a, a dog. Raise. And a raise. Yeah, a raise. You can't have a dog. Tell him, tell him to give me a dog. Okay. Anyway, the cool thing with this is that Four Roses has 10 different recipes they use for their whiskeys. Mm -hmm. It's all straight bourbon, and it's all made at their Lawrenceburg distillery. But they use two different mash bills and five different types of yeast. Ooh. Now I wrote these down because I don't remember things so good. Okay. So What's my name? Where am I? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the first mash bill is mash bill B. 60% uh, corn, 35% rye, 5% barley. Okay. Then there's mash bill E. 75% corn, 20% rye, so lower amount of rye, 5% barley. So, and then when they ferment, they're making them with these different types of yeast. So there's V, which is supposed to make delicate fruity flavors in the distiller's beer. Ooh. There's K, which is supposed to be spicy. Ooh. O is rich fruit. Ooh. Q is floral. Ooh. And then F is herbal. Fabulous. Fabulous. So the standard single barrel is OBSV. O is for the Lawrenceburg Indiana Distillery. B for the higher rye mash bill, and V for the delicate fruitiness. And then this one right here, this single barrel pick, is O-E-S-K. Okay. So that first O, again, just for the distillery, S for straight whiskey. E for lower rye mash bill, K for spicy. Spicy yeast. Yeah. Now the fun thing- There's the a lot of Sesame Street going on. Yeah, right? Count to Q with me. <laughs> you don't count the alphabet. I know. Anyway, so the fun thing with this is that they've got all these proprietary yeast, proprietary yeast strains. We're going to try to figure out how much effect that yeast, that yeast strain, during you know, what the differences it makes during fermentation, how much of that actually makes it through distillation and aging to see how much these are different. And if we can pinpoint how much effect the yeast had on it. And if we can, I get a prize. The weird thing about Four Roses is, no one's actually sure who founded it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So currently it's owned by Kieran Brewery from Japan. Kieran claims that it was started by a guy named Paul Jones Jr. who named it because back in like the 1860s or whatever, he told his lover that if she wanted to be with him, she should show up to the dance wearing roses because Back in the 1860s, people couldn't just say yes or no, apparently. You had to do this big romantic bullshit. 
So then he went on to found Four Roses because she wore Four Roses. Okay. Right? That's one possible explanation. That's the official explanation given by the distillery. That's cute. That sells bottles. That is cute. It's adorable. Yeah. It's amazing. However, it may have actually just been started by a guy named Rufus Rose, who is, and his kids just named the thing Four Roses after him. Yeah. Were there four of them? I don't know if there are four of them. There may have been. That would be cute. Yeah, that would make sense. But, I don't know. Maybe they just thought the number four was a cool number. That, that's also fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway. When do I get to drink? Let's do it now. All right. We're doing this blind. So, um, yeah, I poured. And quick, mix them up. Mix them up. Do some mixing for me. This is bad because they're etched. Shut up. This is continuing an argument we had before we filmed the video. I don't remember what was in what. Okay. All right. Are you sure you don't? I actually don't. I have a terrible memory. That's great. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this. Let's start. I'm going to start with this one on my, on my left. Starting with this one on my right. All right. Can I just say that? Can the... I compare them? Yeah, of course. Can I just say this room smells like buttered popcorn? Yeah. This whole room just smells like buttered popcorn right now. So I'm not going to lie. I feel like I already know what is what by color. You think so? Yeah. Yours is harder because you're directly in the light, but... I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty similar in color. Mm. Well, one is slightly higher proof. You this think you already darker. know? So I'm willing to bet that this is this and this is this. Well, way to game the system, Erica. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. Let's, let's see if I'm wrong. All right. All right. Well, just, just, just smell them first and see what we think of them, huh? Oh, I drank already. Whatever. That's fine, too. Okay. Okay, the one on my left, my left hand, smells like more of that, like, corn. More that, of that buttered corn and, like, an herb garden. I see buttered corn, and that's on my left, too. Uh, my right smells more cinnamony. See, my right, I get more fruitiness, actually. A little bit more of, like, a... I don't know. It's weird. It's like uh, it's cherry, but it's also like cherry that was in pineapple juice. Just a little bit of a like acidic fruit. Yeah. I like this one more. The one I'm betting is Private Select. I should have just put it for it. So that's the one on my right. It's got more of those baking spice qualities I like. So I could see that being the spice that they're saying. Yeah. This one on my left tastes more like standard Four Roses, which, like, I don't like Four Roses that much. It always has, like, a dusty corn thing to me. Yeah. I think both of these lean pretty dusty corn. They do, but one has cinnamon in it, yeah. which is great. I don't know. Okay. And one is, like, buttery corn. All right. So this one, this one's more cherry-y, cherry-y with a acidic pineapple kind of thing. It's not actually acidic, but... I could see which... These might be the same thing, because I get, like, a these cherry acidic thing. Yeah. But it's not... I see what you mean by pineapple juice now. It's cocktail syrup. It's like yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, cocktail syrup. It's fruity but acidic and a little fake. Smell. Yeah, or tasting more so than smell. Yeah, because the nose is mainly butter, butter popcorn and like some acid. But I do get a lot more of like what I would think is barrel spice off of this, like just straight up like charred wood. Mm. This is way more like charred woody, dark kind of charcoal -y kind of thing. I feel like I get more on that. And this one's a little bit more herbaceous. This one on my left hand, I think. This one's a little bit more... It's still buttery. It's okay. still buttery, corny, kind of sweet, but just like a touch of like rosemary. Okay. Yeah, just a touch of rosemary. Um, I hate living in suspense. I but wonder... first, you, which one did you say you liked better? This one. That one. And I think it's this. I think it's the... What is the mash bill on this again? Or the mix or whatever? Uh, so O-E-S-K. So lower rye uh, with a spicy yeast. I can see that being this one. Okay. I, I'm, I don't know exactly which one is which. I'm guessing this one in my left hand is probably... 
the OBSV, I'm okay. thinking, because it's a little bit more herbaceous. And this one, I think, has a little bit more of like that like a, that kind of creamed corn. Okay. I was saying buttered corn, but it's kind of creamed corn, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, with but with a lot of a lot of that chard oak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can we know now? Okay. Let's find out. I hate suspense. All right. All right. My left hand is number two. That's standard. My left hand is also number two. Standard. And then so my right hand was number one. Yep. This one. I was right. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Suck it. Yeah, you get. What do it. I win? I mean, nothing. You get to drink good bourbon. I want a thing. This isn't a competition. This was a review. But it was a competition, blind competition. No, it was between the bottles, not between us. Yeah, but then I got it. I got the blind thing. Like, I picked it. So? So I want a thing. I, there's, I, don't have, a prize. I don't have a prize for you. We were doing this for the edification of our viewers. The edification, if you would. I want a prize. The prize is the love you get from the Rock Out Review community. Can I trade that in for tokens of some sort? Talk to them. They're in charge of that. They're right. the community. I would like a Chuck E. Cheese token of some sort. <laughs> All right. Before we finish up, though, I do want to put a drop of water in the, the uh, proprietary pick barrel just to see if we take this proof down a little bit. Like, does it match closer to the which one? The regular, uh, the proprietary pick, the single, the the select, so the version. private select. Yeah. Alright. Because I'm wondering, because this is at fifty percent, that's at fifty seven, which isn't that much higher actually, but it is. I mean, it's significant. It's significant. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back. It's not. It's closer, but it's still not the same. I get that yeah. cocktail syrup thing again. Yeah. But not as heavy. It's interesting because maybe what I was mistaking for barrel char and barrel spice was the what the yeast did. Mm -hmm. But it tastes it tastes a lot like wood spice. It tastes a lot like a, like what you would expect to get from wood spice, more than that like really vegetal rye yeah. that you get. Um yeah. I do like them. I like them both, but I Which do one think do you like more? I do think I like the single barrel select. I'd agree. Yeah. 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 It's just it's, I wish I hadn't added water. Yeah, that's fair. Same thing every time. It's actually interesting cuz I think there's more pepper on that. I think there's a little bit more pepper on the single barrel select, but there's also more fruit. This is more this is herbaceous, it's not peppery. I don't think it's pepper cuz like what I've been describing since the start is like cinnamon. It's spicy, but it's not like Pure spice. It's a sweet spice. I get I get a little bit of pepper on that. Mm, I mean, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, but you're wrong. It's cinnamon. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. This has been the Rocket Review. This has been a look at the interesting ways that yeast affects whiskey. This has been me being deprived of a prize. Somebody come up with a prize for Erica. I'll I'll help you with it. Until next time, this has been the Rocket Review. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Get me a prize. And until next time, stay rotten. Stay rotten. Stone Cold style. Yeah. yeah.